not the return home they wanted. After being expelled from neighboring Equatorial Guinea, these Cameroonian migrants are being repatriated to their country. They've come back broke, empty-handed, and scarred by the violence at the hands of security forces. Ahead of Equatorial Guinea's presidential, legislative, and local elections, thousands of migrants in the isolated and oil-rich Central African nation are being rounded up by security forces and forcibly deported. Authorities accuse them of committing crimes and creating instability. Nonsense, says this Cameroonian migrant. She says they were there to do jobs locals don't want, working as mechanics, housekeepers, or teachers. Some were beaten, others held days without food. All have had their homes and belongings seized by the state. Berthe fled the violence of Boko Haram fighters in Cameroon, thinking she and her children were safe. She worked as a maid for years. Last week, she was arrested, separated from her children, and all of her savings were taken away. I was forced to spend three days cloistered in the house without eating or drinking. Two soldiers arrested me and took me to the stadium. They took me to the basement. I resisted, but then they forced me to undress and they abused me. Human Rights Watch accused security forces of rape, torture and arbitrary detention. After 43 years in power, 80-year-old President Tuadera Obiang Nguema is running for re-election. He's sure to win. His party, the Democratic Party of Equatorial Guinea, won almost 100% of the votes during last parliamentary elections. Everything is normal. People feel like it's fun. It doesn't feel like a campaign like in other countries where there are problems. No, everything is normal here, both for the Democratic Party of Equatorial Guinea and for the opposition parties. But critics say it's anything but normal. Describing the country as a dictatorship, there is no real opposition, they say. A small elite enjoys lavish lifestyles from oil revenues, while most people live on less than $2 a day. The president says the country's poverty and problems are the fault of foreigners and migrants. Some 30,000, most from Central African countries, are expected to be deported before the end of the year. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.